First, it was students at a university in Halifax. Now, students at UBC have been outed for making a chant advocating the rape of yet underage girls. Today, the university... UBC will bring in new measures to help students better understand First Nations after a controversial chant based on the Disney movie Pocahontas was used during frost events. The new measures... Whether you do work on housing or um, thinking about the environment or um, transportation or design of cities or, you know, so many different issues, violence is connected to all of that. Uh, intersectional violence is uh, an approach to violence that recognizes that single identities are not enough. Um, in, certainly in terms of understanding violence. That if we think about gender violence, for example, um, gender alone does not fully account for um, experiences of gender violence. Historically and in the present, colonialism is achieved in part through violence uh, against women, violence against gender diverse people. We know that Indigenous people um, experience higher rates of violence and um, already have engagements with, um, say, police and um, other kinds of systems that tend to respond to violence. So I think it's really important for us um, to think about how, especially Indigenous students, uh, but also faculty and others who might experience sexual violence on campus, um, how we our responses should uh, be informed by the other relationships that, the kind of broader relationships that Indigenous people have to violence. People come into the classroom um, with um, identities, um, social locations that then affect their capacity um, to participate in the classroom learning community. This is something that we all need to consider in our in our classrooms and how we put our syllabus together uh, because we know that students who are in our classrooms we can assume there are survivors uh, in class we can assume that some of the students will be assaulted within the school year that are in our classes um, and I think assuming that and then approaching our work in that way is really uh, integral to changing the way that we have conversations about these issues. I think it's really um, important that uh, I, I guess on the one hand that faculty feel they can um, build this into their course design. At the same time, I think it's important to recognize that not everybody is going to be an expert on this issue. We don't have to all start doing research on sexual violence in order to be able to um, think about these issues in our classes and, and to address it in our teaching. Sometimes, uh, you know, in the beginning of class we might uh, bring up resources that are available um, and s on campus. And some of these resources might include resources for mental health, uh, resources for the writing center. Um, it can include uh, the Sexual Assault Support Center, the SASC. Um, bringing this up, um, bringing these resources up can be useful for students because then one, we recognize them as um, full human beings who might need additional support apart from the intellectual support that we're able to give them. Um, and two, it, it can open up a discussion in terms of, well, why are these resources needed in the first place? 